here's where it gets weird. Ouija Falls, founded more than 300 years ago by a brave band of hardy pioneers who hacked their way through raw wilderness. It was a long and arduous journey, fraught with unimaginable pain, suffering, and starvation. But that was a walk in the park compared to the average high school field trip. I don't even know what's going on. I was just coming out of the room and all of a sudden, whack, right in the face, and then, oh, I got the camera. I got it. Earplugs. Never go on a field trip without them. I can't believe this was your idea. A field trip to the fish hatchery? Yeah, bright idea, Edison. The fish hatchery is next to the nuclear power plant. I hear the fish are radioactive and have three heads. Sweet! Arr, we ain't sailed but three blocks and tis mutiny already! Take the hell, missus. Stand down, you swabs, or I'll kill all the lot of yous. Somebody doesn't have all their oars in the water? Yeah, Mr. Silver hasn't been the same since he fell into the killer whale tank on our field trip to the marine park. North by northwest, and hold her close to the wind, Cornbuckle. Permission to sing, Mr. Silver? Arr. Oh, he loves a good sea shanty. Oh. 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 Ten thousand kegs of ginger ale on the wall. Ten thousand kegs of ginger ale. If one of those kegs should happen to fall, nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine kegs of ginger ale on the wall. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine kegs of ginger ale. On the wall. Warned you to bring earplugs. to use the head something fierce. Oh, we were wondering if we might use the facilities. Scylla, so, think the rain will hurt the rhubarb? Had it? I didn't know Mo spoke farmer. We were uh, wondering if it'd be okay to water the horses. Huh? Rest rooms for paying customers only. Welcome to Farmer Dell's petting farm. Petting farm? That's lame. That's for little kids. <gasps> Can't pet the bunnies without the kibble. Dollar a cup. What a ripoff. You are absolutely right. But I really have to go. Um, do you take credit cards? Any port in the store, may eh, lads? They're so cute! <sighs> I might convince the school board to reimburse me if I could salvage at least a shred of an educational angle. Perhaps the children could have a tour of the barn. Vance off limits. Wouldn't want the young'uns getting hurt, or mangled, or impaled. <laughs> 
or squashed or shredded. Fine, I get the idea. Or dismembered, bad for business. It's a wonder he isn't charging us extra to pet the flies. Guys, come on, you gotta see this. Now we know where old school buses go to die. Forget the buses. What happened to the passengers? Oh, let's get out of here. This, this place is giving me the creeps. Me too. Time to go. No, oh, I'm fine. I already went. Oh, you mean go. Goodbye, little bunny monies. Shake a leg, Mr. Silver, before he charges me extra for parking. <gasps> We're becalmed. There be no wind in her sails. Why don't you take your coats off and stay a while? A while in farmer talk. Oh, anywhere from an afternoon to forever. It looks like Farmer Dell's petting farm has fallen on hard times. So it's no surprise he wants his only customers to stick around for a while. Could we use your telephone? Never had any use for such newfangled gadgets. Does anyone have a cell phone? Go, go! Out of range. No service. Nothing. Zilch. Arr, could you give me a hidden for the nearest port? Gasoline station is that way. That'll be five dollars for the loan of the bucket. He'll probably let us leave once Mrs. K's gold card is maxed out. No sign of sabotage on this one. This one either. At least nothing I can smell. Hmm. We're looking for something that can mangle, shred, impale, or dismember. Cool. Some of this stuff looks like it belongs in a torture chamber. You okay? Uh, yeah, but I don't like owls as much as I used to. Oh man, I think I landed on a kitten. Huh? Poor thing sounds frightened. It must be trapped in there. Here, kitty, kitty. Woo! Somebody ought to change the litter box. Huh? You know, for a cat, it's not very light on its feet. Maybe because it's not a cat. Gorilla? With horns? How about horrible, bloodthirsty demon from the very depths of the underworld? This is why I hate field trips! The farmer spends his days plowing, tilling, nurturing, weeding, and feeding, and then comes the harvest, when at last he can realize the rewards of his noble toil. I bought them at the supermarket. A half what it would cost to grow them myself. Oh, well, wasn't that educational? It's a cow? You mean a horrible, bloodthirsty demon that vaguely resembles a cow? No, just a cow. A cow? How now, brown cow? <laughs> Ooh, I, you know, for a cow, he's uh, awfully affectionate. She's got company. 
This is disgusting. Actually, pigs get a bad rap. I've read that they're really very clean animals and intelligent, too. Yeah, right. Hey, piggy, what's two times two? Whoa! Yeah! Mad pig! Four? Oh, lucky guess. I wasn't talking about the pig. I mean these horrible living conditions. Why would Farm Adele keep these poor things locked up down here? Our ears must be playing tricks on us. What's going on here? I'll tell you what's going on. The kitty books have it all wrong. Cow goes moo, huh? Ha! A cow goes meow! Cats go moo and pigs go cock a doodle doo! I think there's more to it than that. Yeah. The illustrators don't know squat about farm animals either. Huh? No wonder our generation's so spaced out. You can say that again. Maybe Farmer Della isn't quite as old-fashioned as we thought. Nighty night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bed bugs? <laughs> Sounds big. And hungry. Big and hungry enough to take a bite out of a school bus. <laughs> High school lore is filled with tales of buses that went out, but never returned. Of course, until now, I thought they were just urban myths, made up by teachers to keep the kids in line. Somebody's been renovating. Going down! Huh? Hey! I think they're trying to tell us something. Stand back. I know how to communicate with animals. What is it, fella? You want to play fetch? Huh? Go get it! Go get it! Sit! Stay! Down! Roll over! Oh! Whoa! Easy, fella! A regular Dr. Doolittle. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but this is way better. What's this guy up to? Genetics. Yeah, they say farming's in the blood. In this case, it's filling the freezer. Check it out. Every kind of animal DNA on the planet, from aardvark to zebra. DNA, the very building blocks of life. Yeah, we know, Hitch. We took it in science class. But I like saying, the very building blocks of life. Oh, gross. Kitty cow, chick pig, Tasmanian bunny. Maybe he's trying to develop a new breed of super cow. Or pigs that lay bacon and eggs. Maybe there's more to it than that. Lucille? Mind your manners. Shouldn't go touch another people's property. And you shouldn't monkey around with human DNA. Shows you how much you know about genetic engineering. The big multinationals got that market all sewn up. But then, who's Lucille? Oh, that's just my pet name for her. Don't normally name the livestock, but Tyrannosaurus lamb wouldn't fit on the test tube. <laughs> the Petten Farm is where I reckon there's still money to be made. He's trying to engineer the ultimate penning farm animal. Now, what kid wouldn't want to pet a real live dinosaur, hmm? <laughs> Running around that way will only get her all excited. She's still just a lamb, you know. Amazing. Unbelievable. Sweet. I found her tickle zone. It's the lamb genes that make her so cuddly. Of course, not all my experimenting worked out quite so good. But that's genetic engineering for you. 
It's the T-Rex genes that make her so bloodthirsty. <laughs> Now, Daisy, mind what I told you about eating the customers. It's bad for business. Talk about biting the hand that feeds you. There, there, Lucille. Easy, girl. Daisy, fresh meat. Come and get me. Go! I've already got her in the 14th gear! Oh, this is bad. Cage, floor it! Hold on, Mo! Guess it's the Tasmanian devil genes that make him so ornery. <gasps> Go! Bunnies! Poor Farmer Dell. What a weird way to go. Well, he should have known monkeying around with dinosaur DNA would lead to trouble. Yeah. Hasn't he seen the movies? Huh? Oh. Uh... Never had much use for them newfangled talking picture shows. Farmer Dell? He's all right! But that Jurassic lamb had him for an appetizer! Luckily it didn't chew its food. Yeah, but still, how did he... Don't ask. Oh, reckon I'll go have me a long hot shower. Who's up for a nice, fresh glass of milk? Please. Hasn't this field trip been enough of a nightmare already? Yeah, it was smoking. Way anchor, Mr. Silver! Aye, aye! Bye-bye, bunnies!
When somebody has messy habits, we call them a pig, right? Well, aside from insulting an innocent animal, that statement is a lot closer to the truth than you might think. There, but for a few microscopic strands of DNA, goes you or I. Genetically, that's about all that separates humans from pigs, or a lot of other creatures. They say what really sets us apart is our opposable thumb, which allows us to manipulate objects, tools, even DNA. Know what I think is the main thing that sets humans apart from the rest of the animal kingdom? We love to tinker. Of course, that's what makes us so scary, too. <laughs>